Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. In the previous FreeBSD Monday video, we had a look at changing the FreeBSD startup screen. There, I also showed custom terminal colors. If you are using FreeBSD without a desktop environment and straight from the terminal, for example for server applications, this doesn't have to mean that you are restricted to just black and white. I'm showing this on FreeBSD 14.1, but it will work just as well on the recently released version 14.2. Also, no additional software is installed, this is a standard FreeBSD installation. The utility VitControl is bundled with the operating system. And according to VitControl's man page, this is the system console control and configuration utility, and many configuration changes can be done with VitControl. We are just going to use a very simple example in this video, but you can have a lot of fun with it. The display mode, you can get the cursor to blink, you can introduce a border, etc. It can all be configured with VIT control, but for now, let's stick to the terminal or system console colors. List the available colors with the command VIT control show. And it shows the colors on the left hand side, and it even shows some color combinations on the right hand side for inspiration. The format of the command is extremely simple. First, you specify a foreground or font color, and then the background color. If you would like to go for that IBM XT, IBM mainframe, or AS400 color scheme, maybe somebody remembers TwinX terminals, type hit control, light green, black. You could also use regular green, but it appears to be too dim. Now let's try a yellow foreground with a blue background. Make the foreground white and you could go for a Commodore 64 basic look and feel. Another one, light magenta with grey. That doesn't look too crisp, so I will stick with my personal favorite, the IBM XT look. At this point, when you reboot your machine or log out the current user, the colors will reset to defaults. To load the color scheme when you log in, there are different files and startup scripts to place the command in, also system wide, but I just went for the users.profile file, which is located in the user's home directory. Using your favorite editor, I'm going for the easy editor today, open the .profile file, which is described at the top as the startup script for login shells. Simply add the command that you would like to be executed when you log in, and save and exit the file. Now when you reboot the machine or log out and back in, the colors are there. One of the many other things possible with VitControl is change the terminal font. The default system fonts are located in the directory user share vt fonts. And this will now be a matter of testing out what you really like and what works in your terminal resolution. Let's say that I would like to use the font named Gallant, then the command is vitcontrol f then a label you would like to give this font, this is a free text field, and then the path to the font file, the .fnt file. And it immediately changes. And of course you can do the same, add a font that you like to the user startup profile. For example, the Terminus font. The Spleen 8x16 font to me looks like the default font. And just because we are now in the holiday season, let's make the screen look Christmassy. And indeed, it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. That's it. Hope it helped. And if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time. Bye.